Flowcare peg removal. Replacement with Flowcare cubby button. The peg should not be removed within 10 days of placement or before the stoma tract is formed. The Flowcare peg can be replaced by a Flowcare G-tube or Flowcare cubby button, as demonstrated in this instruction video. The Flowcare peg needs to be removed with the use of an endoscope. To remove the peg, cut the tube at skin level. Use the Flowcare stoma measuring device to determine the length of the stoma. Work as quickly as possible to prevent the stoma tract from closing. The internal disc and the remaining tube must be retrieved by endoscope and forceps. Prior to insertion, inflate the balloon of the measuring device with 5 mm of water using the syringe. Check that the balloon inflates evenly and is intact, and then deflate. Dip the tip of the measuring device in water to ease insertion, or use a gel. Insert the measuring device into the stoma until the balloon lies inside the stomach. Re-inflate the balloon with 5 ml of water. Pull the measuring device slightly upwards until the balloon lies against the stomach wall. Measure the length of the stoma. Add 2 mm to the measured length to ensure that the button will not be too tight once fitted. Deflate the balloon. Keep the stoma measuring device in place to prevent closing of the stoma.